and welcome to the uh, my first review from the channel. Um, uh, like I said recently, I'm going to start doing a lot more reviewing because um, I do kind of buy quite a bit. Uh, and to be honest with you, it's quite a lot of the stuff that I buy that I can't find reviews for on the internet. So I figured it would be a good chance to, you know, if I was looking for that thing, then maybe other people are as well. So I do I do like a good review because it's always nice to to be able to see something hands on before you you actually buy it. Uh, you get a better idea of size and quality, etc., etc. So, like I say, it's um, it's just my my way of giving a bit back to the YouTube community, which I use a lot. Um, so today we have um, Caligas's latest offering. Um, I'm I'm gathering people still use Caligas fires uh, because you know that they, they still sell quite a lot of them and there's still a lot of bottles out there. But uh, this is something quite unique. It's called the Heat Cube. Um, that's the box there. As you can see, it's uh, it's quite a compact heater. I'll explain in full in a moment exactly what the crack is with the bottles and give you a little look of the fire. Okay, so I'm just going to get this out of the box. Right, and there we have the Color Heat Cube. And as you can see, like I say, it's, uh, it's not a traditional designed color gas heater. It's uh, very, very unique in the fact that it doesn't have the sort of standard where color gas fire is normally with the two or three actual burners on the front behind a grill. Now, this is what they call a blue flame heater. And basically, what you've got is uh, you've got this this grill bit here, and inside there's a burner, pretty much similar to a burner that's in your boiler or on top of your cooker, and it just burns a blue flame, and it allows the heat to come directly out of here. So you don't get a lot of radiated front heat, but you do get a lot of um, nice hot air coming out of the top. Now just while I'm on with the top, uh, you've also got this, which is a little deflector plate. You basically just loosen these two little thumb bolts here. And you slide that onto there, as so. That's included in the box. Um, and what that basically does is to stop the heat directly from coming out of the top and more it sort of deflects it out of the front so you get a little bit less heat. I suppose it's good if you're using it under something where you don't want a lot of because it does get fairly hot above the top so at least with that on it the heat here will be uh, it'll be pretty much deflected away so you could put it you know under a cabinet if you need to do without any any risk of burning the the cabinet above it so at the moment these are retailing at Round about, but well, the actual recommended retail price is uh, ninety nine ninety nine from Color themselves. B and Q sell them round about the same. Uh, I just got myself a nice little deal with it actually, and uh, got it from Groupon. Uh, they had it on for a two day offer where it was down to I think it paid fifty nine ninety nine plus one ninety nine postage. Now on top of that, you do need a specific bottle. So I'm going to talk about the bottle after I've shown you a bit more about the heater and I'll show you exactly how that works. Because there is only one kind of bottle goes in this heater and it is a bottle that doesn't go on anything else. It's like, it's like none of the barbecue bottles or any of the standard blue bottles that are available. So, uh, you, it's on casters. It doesn't move backwards and forwards well but it does rotate. I'm assuming it doesn't move backwards and forwards to stop it from being pushed around which is I suppose a pretty good idea but it does make it quite awkward to move and it is fairly heavy once the bottle's in place. Uh, on the top here you've got standard regulator, you've got the first setting there which is the pilot light. If you want to turn it down but don't want to turn it off, um, why you would have that I've not really an idea because that's just going to kind of burn gas. Uh, you may as well just turn it off and relight it if need be. The second one is the ignition position and the first heat setting and the second one there is the highest heat setting. Uh, this is about a four and a half kilowatt heater I do believe. So it's, it, we've, I've tried it in, in here and these are fairly big rooms with this being an old terraced house and it does give off quite a bit of heat. We primarily bought this for Cameron because we've got a very very large air beam tent and the living area is quite a big space and at night it does cool down quite quick. I found it radiated uh, electric heaters just really weren't doing the job so I'm hoping that this is gonna do the job for camping especially and obviously it's always a source of emergency heat for home as well if we have any issues with a boiler or anything like that Um 
it comes with the standard features the Caligas heaters have got in, in case anybody's worried about burning it indoors and carbon monoxide, etc, etc. It does have uh, an oxygen sensor in it, so if there is a, a lack of oxygen in the room because there's something wrong with the heater, it will switch itself off. And it's also got an anti-tip feature as well, which means, again, if it's knocked over, it will turn itself off. It's all good safety features. Uh, on the top here is the it's the regulator button I'll explain once I've got the bottle out to show you what's going on inside here is the regulator control for switching the gas flow on and off swiftly moving around to the back now and um, you can see that on the back is the door for the bottle to go in um, the bottle pretty much takes up the the interior of the heater on the top there you can see there's a sort of metal guide which helps the bottle to fit into place and obviously I'll explain how that works once I come around and put the bottle in now as I previously explained this heater only takes this bottle now it's a Caligas cube gas bottle uh, the gas is running for anywhere from 13 to 15 pound I got charged in B&Q um, but the Caligas website states 13 pounds the price for a refill it's a 6 kilo bottle of gas uh, it is it is supposed to last 30 hours which is quite a lot of use for a heater I'm not sure if that's on the lowest setting or the highest setting it doesn't really state but 30 hours like I say for for sort of 13 to 15 pound is it's not too not too heavy really I mean to be honest with you, I found previously with normal Caligas heaters you tend to put them on heat the place up then you turn them down or off because the place gets fairly warm like I say this this bottle's got a it's got a specially designed top as you can see and that gap in the handles there is it's perfectly the same size as that guide inside the heater which is how it helps it slide into place so to fit the bottle to the heater you basically open the door you look on the top of the bottle there it's got to uh, load this way written on it there you basically slide the bottle or you offer the bottle up to the heater and slide it in it's guided in by that metal rod there you slide it in as far as it'll go once that's in obviously just close the door then as I see you just push down on the regulator button until it clicks into place you then need to turn this green lever right the way around 180 degrees until the red flame shown then you can close that and close that so to light the fire it's this one here, you move it from, you push it down slightly like a normal Caligas heater, turn it to there and click it a few times until you see the gas light. That's it. Gas is now lit. It's been on a while, you can then knock it up to, to three or two or whatever you want. like I say to turn it off again just back to that one that's basically what it's done is it's turned the gas up it's left the pilot light running and turn the pilot light off you just go back in here and turn this round to green again eventually once the gas is burnt off in the pipe work there the pilot will actually go out now to remove the bottle is you basically what you do is, is you push this green lever in and then you push down on there and that's it you can now open the door and slide the gas bottle back out and it's disconnected from the fire so I'm just going to give you a couple of measurements here so you can see what sort of size we're looking at you're looking at um, 37 centimeters or about 14 and a half inches in old money um, it's the same square and height you're looking at uh, 42 centimeters about 16 inches high so again it's quite a compact fire 
Um, and it's it's a quite a nice looking fire as well, no fairness. I think it's uh, it's something different as well. Now, obviously I haven't field tested this yet. I mean, we bought it primarily for camping, but uh, like I say, I haven't had a chance to field test it yet. But looking at the heat that comes out there, I have no doubt that it's going to perform pretty well. Again, I can't I can't comment on gas bottle life, on actual gas bottle life. Uh, I may do like a, a little bit of a follow up review later on. Um, like I say, if anybody's thinking about getting one, or I've looked at them and thought, hmm, it's, uh, I mean, a normal Caligas heater, a big Caligas heater, is probably going to cost you about, they run anywhere from 60 to sort of £120, depending on how good a bottle you, um, sorry, how, depending on how good a heater you get. Uh, again, it's, it's just for me, it was the size, I didn't want something enormous. And I didn't want the open burner on the front because we, we have dogs as well and I didn't want dogs' tails sort of, you know, catching fire. So it's, it's like I say, it's something that we, we, we looked at and I got a cracking deal with Group 1. So keep an eye on Group 1, you never know. Um, the gas bottle. The gas bottle, like I say, you can only use the cube-type gas bottle in it. You are probably looking at... The website states that there's a £40 first bottle fee. And then obviously thirteen pound for the refill of the gas. So your first bottle is going to cost you about fifty three quid. However, I went to B and Q, and I was told that there was no contract charge on the bottle, and I was just given a bottle, which meant I paid fifteen pound for my gas, and that was it. So all in total, I paid sixty pound plus fifteen pound for the gas, which was seventy five quid. So that's twenty five quid less than the heater was supposed to be in the first place. So, that's the uh, Caligas Cube. Um, if you have any questions, just obviously, you know, ask below and I'll, I'll try and answer as best as I can. Um, if you enjoyed this review, then please like it below. And please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.